Today, we are building strength and definition with push, pull, and abs training. This workout has it all. It's time to get warm, and then let's get strong. Getting right into our warm up, we are gonna start with an alternating forward swimmer. So taking our arms down, we're gonna reach forward with one arm, making nice, big half circles here with those arms. I am so excited for our training today. As you can see, today's session is a bit longer, but I am telling you these few extra minutes are going to make the biggest difference. This is gonna be such an awesome workout, so effective. The way I have everything planned today, super intentional with our training to really make the most of our time together. Last one here, and then let's take it backwards. So same thing, just backwards, this time alternating sides. Really wanna take some time here to make sure the joints are ready, make sure the muscles are warm. Keeping a slight bend in your knee, chest is up. Couple more here, and then we're gonna take the arms out, and then we're gonna extend and pull. Last one, so taking the arms out parallel to the floor, we're gonna pull back, squeeze shoulder blades around your spine, and then out. So take your time, squeeze, and then reach forward. Good. Today's workout also lifting moderately heavy. We're gonna have a push focused round. We're gonna have a pull focused round. Then we're gonna combine the two, hitting the push and pull muscles. muscles. And then we're gonna finish out with abs. Two more and then we're gonna take this up towards the sky. Here's two and one. Reach and pull. Now taking it up towards the sky, pull down. Good. And then up nice and tall, reach for the sky. And then as you come down, think about bringing your elbows together behind. And then up, good. Almost through this warm up, we're gonna have one more exercise to get warm. Two more here. So reach up nice and tall. Here's two. And then let's do one more. Nacho's adventurous today, where are you going? Oh, great. Great landing, <laughs> right in the middle of everything. <laughs> All right, from here, we're gonna take and just hold the arm across and then switch sides. Good. For the structure today, just a quick overview. Like I said, we're gonna have a push, a pull, and then a round for both. For the push and the pull round, five exercises. We repeat them twice. We're gonna do one right after the other, working in a horizontal format. Work time are gonna be on for 45, then 15 in between those sets, and then 30 before we move on to the next exercise. For both, we are going to work for 60, rest for 20. Then abs, we're gonna finish out with 40 on, 10 off. Again, it's a tough structure. We're lifting moderately heavy. Last one here, and then we're gonna get our dumbbells, or actually, we don't need dumbbells for the first exercise because we're gonna bring it to the ground for push-ups. But then after that, we'll work with our dumbbells. So let's bring it to the ground. For your push-ups, you can do it on your knees or toes. And again, you guys know why I lift weights, is to move my dogs. <laughs> Nacho, come on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's gonna fight the push-ups. Knees or toes, or you can do that in an elevated push-up. Here we go in three, two. <laughs> Thank you, Nacho. You're my son. Okay, guys. Hello. <laughs> push up to the front. He needs to play. He's like, see you guys, this is a long workout. I wanna make it fun for you. Come play with me instead. <laughs> Nacho, really? <sighs> with your push-up form here, make sure you're thinking about driving those heels to the wall behind you. Keep your legs strong, keep the glutes strong. Core is engaged. Almost through this first set, this break, is gonna be quick in between. Good, here's three, two, and one. Whew. We're gonna go again, we got 15 seconds, and then we'll move on. One more set for push-ups. <laughs> All right, getting back into your push-up position. We go in three, two, and one. Good, make sure those hands are in line with mid chest here. Don't want your hands too far out or too far back. Couple tips here I wanna give you for push-ups. 
you can think about this for future workouts because I always wanna make sure you know what's best for you during our training so you can make these workouts count for you. If you find push-ups bother your wrist, number one, make sure those arms are in the right position, hands in line with mid chest. You can also use dumbbells. That will take a little bit of pressure off of the wrist or towels underneath the heels of your hands. Almost here, here's three, two, and one. Oh, nice, still working with push. So we are gonna go into chest flies. So grab your dumbbells for chest flies here. We get 30 seconds to rest. A nice little break. Breathing, and then next exercise after those two sets will be narrow chest press. So if you wanna get dumbbells so you have them nearby, I'm gonna grab mine right now. So bringing it down for chest flies, rolling it onto the back. Excuse me, Nacho, excuse me. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Nacho, can you please move? <laughs> okay then. Y'all know what it's like to work out with a dog, right? <laughs> if, you, if, you if you don't, now you do. Nacho, honestly. Open wide and squeeze. As you open, think about bringing those pinkies together. Down and squeeze, good. Almost there, good. Three, two, and one. Whew. We've got a quick break here, then we're gonna go right back into our next set. So let's bring it back up, going in three, two, and one. Here we go, open and squeeze, good. Exhale as you squeeze up. With chest press, with chest flies, whenever we're working here with the upper body, it's okay to have an arch in your back. You will not hear me say that often, but this is one of those exercises. Because we're working all upper body, you may find you need a little bit more pressure up in those shoulder blades towards your upper back. So that is okay to have an arched back. In this one, gives you a little bit more leverage, and that's what we want as we're working with heavier weights. Almost there. Good, three, two, and one. Breathe. Oh, halfway through now, this is our halfway exercise. Narrow chest press. So with that narrow chest press, palms are gonna be facing each other. We're gonna feel this in the chest, also gonna feel it in the triceps. So rolling it back, getting ready. We've got 10 seconds with this exercise. Make sure your arms are staying nice and close to your body. So here we go. Timer on in three, two, and one. Good, keep those arms close. Feel them squeezing around your rib cage and then press back up. Punching towards the sky, keeping your wrists straight. Good, down and press. Same thing with this exercise. You can have a little arch to your back. That is totally fine. Keep that pressure up towards your upper back here. Whew, feeling that in the shoulder blades. Almost there. We're gonna get 15 seconds. Good, here's three, two, and one. Whew, breathe. Oh, time's gonna go by quick. All right, here we go. Grab the weights. About five seconds out. 45 on in three. Two, and one, let's press. Good. A couple things I wanna mention as well. If you are newer to strength training, if you are a beginner, some things you can do in order to focus on the proper tempo for you, you do not have to follow my tempo during these exercises. I want you to work at your own tempo. So if you are a beginner, the one thing you wanna keep in mind is the tempo that you should go is whatever allows you to keep your form working through that full range of motion for each rep. And if you're more advanced, you can think about it as you can work again at your own pace while you're lifting heavy with good form. Oh, last one, here's three. Two 
and a one. Amazing. You are the bomb. We're moving on. Exercise number four is the L raise. So we're gonna work the shoulders and grab those moderately heavy weights for you. Ooh, shoulders rolled down and back. We go in 10 seconds. L raise, we're gonna do a front and lateral raise. Then we'll alternate sides, bringing the other arm to the front and the opposite arm to the side. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good, control that weight up, control it down, keeping those arms parallel to the floor. And then exhale as you lift. Same thing with this one, work at your own tempo. Make sure you're not swinging the weight. If you are swinging, you may need to go down a little bit in weight. But if you feel the arms are just flying up, you may need to go a little heavier. Almost there. Good, lift. This is working the front and the lateral deltoid right now. We got it here in three, two, and one. Nice, rest it out. We go one more step for that one. Breathing. All right, roll the shoulders down and back. Going here in three, two, and one. Back to L raise. Lift and control it down. Make sure the hips are tucked under here. You don't want your bum sticking back as you lift. Slight bend in the knees, hips tucked under. Still thinking belly button to spine. And as you lift, one more thing. Don't let your shoulders raise up. Relax those shoulders, Whew, but those muscles are working as you lift. So we're not working on a shrug. It's just those shoulders getting all the work right now. This is gonna help you build those nice rounded shoulders, really giving you those, that definition in your arms. Almost there. Good, three, two, and one. Awesome, now final push exercise. Two sets, we're gonna work the back of the arm, that tricep. We're gonna do a bent over tricep kickback. So moderately heavy, whatever that may be for you, grab it, let's get ready. Oh, just over 10 seconds out. With this form, slight bend in the knees, drive the hips back, back flat. Core engaged, arms come up nice and close to your body. We're gonna kick it back in three, two, and one. Here we go, take it back, squeeze. Now hold it for just a second at the top. Feel that arm, that tricep muscle, I should say, the back of the arm contract. Whew. Good, keep those elbows tight. Think about keeping those elbows Pin together. So think about a string in between your elbows. You're not letting your arms come out wide. They're tied together. They're moving at the same tempo. Both come up, both control down. Almost there. Whew. Nice job. This is getting tough. I know it. I'm right with you. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome. Rest it out. 15. We go again, final set. We're gonna get a nice long recovery in between the push and pull rounds. 60 seconds, that's one full minute. That's gonna be amazing. Ooh, we gotta go again. Final set, shoulders roll down and back, bring it down, going in three, two, and let's go, kick it back. Exhale as those arms come up. That exhale comes with the contraction. And the contraction is at the top of that exercise. Arms are getting tired. When they start to get tired, don't let those elbows sag down. Keep everything nice and high. Stick that chest out. Almost there, here it is. Three, two, and one, nice, all right. Enjoy your break. I'm gonna let you know what we've got going on for our pull round. If you wanna clean up some of your weights, you can do that. Five exercises in the pull round. With pull exercises, that's where we target those pull muscles being the biceps and the back. So that's what we're gonna focus on for this next round. First exercise is going to be a reverse grip row. So grab that challenging weight for yourself. We've got 30 seconds out. 
So when you're picking something moderately heavy, whew, that's gonna vary person to person. That's gonna vary depending on your level. But what you wanna think about, when we're lifting moderately heavy, you can work for a slightly longer duration. And while you're lifting, it's challenging throughout but super challenging by those last few reps. So that's what I want you to keep in mind when we're picking our weights. Getting ready, reverse grip, bent over row. Going here in three, here's two, and let's go. Again, take your time working at your own pace. I don't want you to rush through the reps. Sometimes when we rush, form gets questionable. We may not be going heavy enough and might also be lacking some range of motion. So make sure that you're just taking your time. Focus on the quality of your reps, not the quantity. We are working to build strength. We're working to build definition. We're working on hypertrophy. We're not working necessarily on endurance right now. If we were, we'd be a little bit lighter. We'd be moving quicker. Duration would be longer. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one, awesome. You know the structure, same structure. We're gonna repeat that once more through. Whew, breathing, let's get ready, hinge it over, back flat, core engaged, and we row. Remember that 15 seconds in between goes by quick. So with your form, as those back muscles start to get, get as they start to fatigue, as they start to get a little tired, think about sticking that chest out, driving that bum to the wall behind you, keeping that flat back, squeezing shoulder blades around spine. Making that mind-muscle connection will seriously take your training to the next level. So focus on that right now as we go. We showed up, we wanna get every second out of this. Here's three, two, and one, nice, breathe. All right, now we're going into a close grip bent over row. I like to use just one dumbbell for this. You can always use two. If you use two, pin those dumbbells together and don't let them separate. That's gonna be the goal for this one. So if you are using one, you might be able to go a little bit heavier. And I like to cross my fingers, wrap my fingers around that bar in this one when I'm using just one. But same thing, back flat, core engaged. We're going, we're going in three. Here's two and one, let's row. Keep those arms in close to your body. As you row up, think about those arms squeezing around your body, keeping that chest. Think about sticking that chest out towards the ground. Good, hold that contraction at the top for a second. Feel the back muscles really start to work. Then control that weight down. Almost there. Come on, keep it strong. Here's three, two, and one. Oh, nice job, breathe. Time to dry off, okay. Getting ready to go again. That 15 seconds is almost up, so grab your weight, hinge it over, back flat, core engaged, and let's go. Good, squeeze and hold it. Remember if you're using two dumbbells, make sure they are pinned together, keep those nice and close. Almost there. Whew. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Oh my. The shake is beginning. We're gonna bring it down to the ground. This is our halfway exercise in this pull round. So bring it down. We have got a pullover. Very fitting for our pull round. One dumbbell you can use two. I like to use one on this one, but whatever works best for you, you know this is your workout, so make it count. Oh, here we go. We're gonna bring it up. Five seconds out, getting a good grip on your weight. And here we go. Take it back and 
squeeze, pull up. Stopping that weight just at about chest level here. So you don't want to take that dumbbell forward towards your belly button. Keeping the arms perpendicular to the floor here. Down, good, squeeze. This is an awesome exercise to also feel in your core. You can feel your core as you pull up. So one thing, if you don't quite feel that core, think about squeezing belly button into spine as you pull up. Tightening up those muscles, you will start to feel whew, that working into the core as well. Good, here's three, two, and one. I'm gonna hang right here, unless you need to up your weight or adjust your weight. Hang out with me here because 15 seconds, almost up. In fact, we gotta bring it up. We go in three seconds. Here's two. And final set for pullovers, let's go. Take it down, control it up, squeeze. Good. Down. Exhale as you pull up. Pullovers are an awesome compound move where we do have several muscle groups working together. Like I mentioned the core earlier, but we've also got the lats. Might feel a little bit in the triceps as well. Chest also, Whew. almost there. Whew. All right, time for one more. Count it out with me, this is three. Come on, you got it, two and one. Awesome, bringing it up, we're moving on to the other pull powerhouse, which is the biceps. One of my favorites. We are gonna start with a drag curl. This is a tough exercise and really helps you make that mind-muscle connection. So with that drag curl, the arms are just gonna drag up. You're gonna feel those arms next to your body that entire time. Keep your wrists straight, shoulders roll down and back, and we begin. So here we go, drag the weights up and then down. Good, squeeze up, driving those elbows to the wall behind you. And down. And squeeze. So those elbows are coming back behind you. At the top here, feel that contraction in the bicep muscle. Think about it, squeeze it. And really remember I said, even during that push round, do not focus on the quantity of reps, focus on the quality. And especially with this drag curl, we are taking our time. We're not gonna get many reps in here because I want you to focus. I want you to get that squeeze here at the top and then control it down. Last one here. Here it is, three, two, and one. Nice. Whew. We're gonna go right back into it. 15 seconds goes by quick. Shoulders roll down and back. Going here in three, two, and one, here we go, drag. Drag them up nice and close to the body, pulling those elbows back, and then down. Good, squeeze. Nice job. Ooh, really take your time. As you're up at the top here, just take a little peek. Make sure those wrists are straight. Think about those elbows being close together in the back. Then control it down. We're almost there. Good, here we are. Three, two, and one. Awesome, one more exercise for pull. Then we're gonna combine the push and the pull, hitting everything in the upper body. Breathing, we're gonna work hammer curls next. So with those hammer curls, palms facing each other, lift moderately heavy, challenge yourself with the weight. You know you can always adjust the weight even mid-set. You have seen me do that before. Ooh, getting ready to go, five seconds out. Palms facing each other, shoulders down and back, keep those arms nice and close. And here we go. Squeeze, good. And exhale as you squeeze. Nice job. Burning out the biceps right now. How good does it feel? Whew. Good, exhale 
as you feel that muscle contract here at the top. We're getting close. Good, here it is. Three, two, and one. Whew. And relax. Breathing. 15 seconds, we're less than 10. So shake it out if you need. Grab your dumbbells. Last set here. Shoulders rolled down and back. And here we go. Squeeze it up and down. Now this last set, don't let your mind wander. Keep your focus here. Think about that bicep muscle. I want you to do that right now. As you're lifting, I want you to think about squeezing that muscle. Squeeze it. Feel the difference. Is that not amazing? That, think about what you're doing. If you're gonna work out, let's just make every second count. <sighs> That's my thing. I know you are busy. So when, when you show up to work out with me, I wanna make sure that when we train together, you are getting everything out of it. And when I say we're building strength and definition, that is what our focus is gonna be for this workout. We're building a powerhouse in here, so we can be a powerhouse out there. Whew. Here it is, three, two, and one. You're amazing. I know, I get a little carried away, but it's because I'm so excited that you're getting strong. I'm so excited that you're like, I'm gonna take the time for me and get strong because I know it's gonna make a huge difference in my life. And I promise you, it will. Also very excited to say that we are more than halfway through this workout. You can set your dumbbells off to the side if you'd like because I'm gonna let you know what we've got going on now. We're gonna work through our final round for upper body before we hit abs. Five exercises. We've got 30 seconds left in our break here. These five exercises, they're gonna work both the push and the pull. We're gonna work in that same order that we did from the push all the way to the pull exercises. So we're gonna start with a chest press on the ground. So get your dumbbells for chest press, meet me on the mat, and let's finish strong. All right, rolling it back. Work time, remember, for this round on 460. Going here in three, two, and one. Chest press. Now just bring in some points to mind that I made during our push round the first time. You can have a slight arch in your back. Keep that weight in that upper back. Really think about squeezing the chest muscles here. Punch the ceiling. Wrists stay straight. Working right over the midline here of your chest. With this round, again, we're gonna work each exercise twice. We're really gonna finish burning out the muscles here. Exhale as you press up. Break time in between is just the slightest bit longer, so that's exciting. Here's three, two, and one. We're gonna get 20 seconds, one more set like that. So let's get ready, take those arms back out. Five seconds out and we go. Here it is, three, two, and one. Let's press. Now, if you have not in the first set, if you did not make that mind-muscle connection with the chest, I'm gonna give you a little tip on how to help do that. One way that helps me is, some of you know this, to think about your armpit egg, okay? <laughs> yes, sounds weird, but it does the trick. Think as if you have an egg under your armpit, and as you press up, I want you to think about cracking that egg. So think right here as you press up, exhale, squeeze, crack that egg, and feel those chest muscles activate even more. Whew. And as I'm talking about this, this muscle activation, please understand it does take time for your body to start making that mind-muscle connection. But over time, you will get that and you will know exactly what I'm talking about and you'll know exactly how to start activating and working deeper into those muscles. But again, it's consistency. And I promise you'll get there. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. Oh. We have made it through chest, time for shoulders. We're working shoulder press now, two sets of that. Oh, grab the weight that you need for your shoulder press, 60 seconds of work. So again, adjust weight accordingly. Bring it up, going here in three, two, and one. 
Mind you, during this round, rest time is the same in between each set. That's 20 seconds. Exhale as you press up. Relax those shoulders down away from your ears. Hips are tucked under. I have a staggered stance, but you can always take a wider stance if you feel more comfortable with that. With that wider stance, just make sure those hips are tucked under. Belly button to spine. Ooh. Almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. 20 seconds. Ooh. Gotta dry off. Wow. Going again. 10 seconds out, grab your weight, adjust if you need, and get ready. Bring those weights up. Here we go in three, two, and one. During this last round, each muscle group we work, the chest, the shoulders, the triceps, the back, the biceps, we're all going to hit that one more time with these two sets. Good, exhale as you lift. And you'll notice me, I need to take a little bit of a break so I can make it through this full set. That is totally fine if you need to take a break in between or during a set. If you do, just hold the weights comfortably so that you'll be ready to go right back into it. Hold it for five seconds if you need and then take it right back up into that exercise. So don't ever worry if you need to take a, a little bit of a break in between, that is totally fine and just get right back into it. Here we are, three, two, and one. Tricep overhead extension next. You can use one or two dumbbells. I like to use one on this one just to save my hair because when I use two, always catches my hair. So bringing that weight up overhead, we're going here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Take it down and press up. Another thing, if you are starting to feel the shake, if you can feel that fatigue, you are doing it right. This is how it should feel right now. We are really working hard. We are challenging our muscles today with this work duration and then this shorter rest, and it's tough. Ooh. But everything's working together here to get us stronger. Wow, back of the arms, you're over halfway, so keep it up. Ooh. But especially if you find that your form is starting to get a little questionable, if you are having a hard time getting that full range of motion, and we still have you know, 10, 15 seconds left, or I should say more 15 to 20 seconds left, take that little break for a second and then get right back into it. Here's three, two, and one. Again, it's that same thing. Quality over quantity with your reps. Whew. 10 seconds out. Last set for tricep overhead extension. Let's bring it up. Hips tucked under, belly button in towards spine. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go, down and press. Now as you come back up to the top of this exercise with those arms extended towards the sky, this is when you want your elbows to come in nice and tight towards your head. As you drop down, might have a little flare in the elbows and that is fine, but you don't wanna over, ex uh, over extend those elbows out Try to keep them in, they might flare out a little bit, and then as you come up, when you're tightening those triceps, that's what I want you to think about squeezing your arms right there. Ooh. So arms should be nice and close to the temples in, Ooh. right at your forehead there. Good, almost there. Then all we have left, back and biceps. Well, and abs, can't forget abs. Here it is, three, two, and one. Bent over row. Two dumbbells for this one. 
10 seconds out. All right, make sure as you bend over that back is staying flat to take that pressure out of your low back. Back flat, core engaged. And here we go, let's row. Squeeze and down. Work at your own tempo with your rows, but as you're working through, try to hold those arms up there at the top. Get that squeeze. Think about shoulder blades around spine. Contract those back muscles. Exhale, and then control it down. Good, wrist stays straight as you row up. Arms very close here. Squeeze, good. Sometimes even saying the word, that squeeze right there, it reminds you. And hey, that's the bonus of working out at home. You can say what you want to say as loud as you want to say it. Even if it means yelling at me, that's okay. <laughs> Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Oh, one more set. We're going to finish out one more set with the back. Breathing. Ooh, 10 seconds. Let's get ready to go back into position so we don't miss a minute of this minute, a second of this minute. How about that? Back flat, core engaged, and let's go. So a couple tips again here, because even when we're in this bent over row, hamstrings are working a little bit here to keep this bent over position, but I do want to make sure that you're protecting that lower back. So keep a slight bend in the knee, drive the bum back towards the wall behind you. Think about sticking your chest out towards the ground and keeping that back flat. I notice when I can think about sticking my chest down towards the ground, it prevents me from rounding my back out. So when you think about sticking that chest out, shoulders kind of back here, allowing you to row, that will help keep you in that good posture for this position. We're almost there. Couple more reps. You got it. Oh, here comes that fabulous countdown. We got three, two, and one. It's always my favorite to say. Okay, we're moving on. Bicep curls. We're gonna finish out working those biceps. Two sets. Grab those weights again to challenge you. Bring it up, shoulders roll down and back. Going here in three, two, and one. Let's begin. Curl it up, squeeze, and down. All right, some things to keep in mind here. For the bicep curls, keep those arms pinned in towards your side. Don't let your elbows come up and away from your body as you curl. As soon as you do that, it's gonna take that contraction out of the bicep, start to work your shoulder. So that's why you can, keep, you can even think about keeping your elbows back a little bit if you need. If that helps you, think about that. Either way, keeping everything nice and tight, squeezing that bicep muscle. I find the bicep is one of the easier muscles to start making that mind muscle connection because you can really feel that squeeze right here at the top. Think about squeezing it even more and then down. Good, almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Good. Final set for the upper body before we move on to abs. Let's make it the best one. A minute of work to go here. 10 seconds out. Adjust dumbbells if, we, if you need. Shoulders roll down and back. Good stance here, slight bend in the knees. Here's three, two, and one. Let's curl. Squeeze it up. Full range of motion, get that contraction. Squeeze at the top, all the way down. Arms come straight. When you miss out on a full range, your muscle does not go through that full contraction, meaning your muscle is not working in the full capacity that it could. So keep that in mind as you're working. That's why I love to share these tips with you because again, I want to make sure that you are getting the most out of your time. And when you hear those reminders, it's gonna make it easier as you are training to be consistent in that so you are getting the best workout you can. Yeah. 
Almost there. 10 seconds out. Come on, squeeze it up. Here it is, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, we're gonna bring it down to the mat for all of our lower, or for all of our ab exercises. You won't need any dumbbells, so you can put those away. We do get a nice little break here in between, so meet me on the mat. Things are gonna move quick during our ab round. So we've got 40 seconds here as we have this rest time. I'm gonna tell you the four exercises we're gonna have. We're gonna have a nice little challenge at the end, which is gonna be a minute long plank. We're gonna start with a three point crunch. We're next going to move on to an alternating leg lower. We've got a bicycle crunch, and then we're gonna do plank rocks, but that second time through when we hit that plank, again, we're gonna just hold plank for a minute. This structure is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna work through those four exercises and then repeat. So bring it down for that three point crunch. We're gonna hit heels, knees, and up to the sky here in three, two, and one. Here we go, reach for the heels, tap the knees, now reach up towards the sky. Good, reach the heels. Tap it knees, and then up towards the sky. Get this tempo for yourself. Just keep working through, heels, knees, and sky. Good, exhale as you crunch up. I mentioned at the beginning, but just to remind you, abs, we work for 40, we rest for 10. So it does move very quickly. We're getting ready to go into that alternating leg lower. Here's three, two, and one. Hands right next to your bum for this alternating leg lower. Keep that low back pressed into the mat. Lower only as low as you can without that back arching. Going here in three, two, and one. So take that leg down and up. Another modification you can take is bend your knees and then just drop those heels. Keep that low back pressed into the mat. So a couple of options, legs straight, legs bent, whatever works for you, that's the best option. And again, take your time working at your own tempo, but feel that leg lower, feel those abs working. As you lower that leg, drive that belly button down towards your spine to keep that low back pressed in. Getting ready to go into our bicycle crunch here in three, two, and one. Whew. Bicycle crunch, time goes by pretty quick with this break. Here's three, two, and one. 40 seconds on. Don't forget to breathe. Halfway. Nice job, keep it up. We're gonna flip it over into a plank for plank rocks. Next in three, two, and one. Bringing it over. Now for plank, if you need to do plank on your knees, you can, you'll omit the rock, but you can always hold that on your knees. If not, down on the forearms, and here we go. So with this rock, just a small movement. Driving those heels to the wall behind you, then rocking forward on the toes, keeping your body long, straight, and strong. So keeping legs tight, glutes tight, belly button to spine. Good. Now we're, when you're in that neutral plank, Shoulders and elbows should be in line. So you don't want your shoulders too far forward. You don't want them back. You also don't want your bum up in the sky. So keep those hips low and just rock. Whew, getting ready here to switch it back up. Three, two, and one. Whew. Rolling it over. Same four exercises. Three point crunch in five seconds. So remember, he heels, knees, and sky. Let's go. Heels, knees, reach up towards the sky. Good, here we go. Heels, knees, now reach up. Ooh. Oh my. Ooh. 
Moving on to the alternating leg lower next, but finish this out strong because this is the last time for this exercise. Good, three, two, and one. Alternating leg lower. Remember, keep that low back pressed in the mat. You have the option here to bend the knees. Going in three, two, and one. Good. The exhale comes as that leg lowers. Taking your time, control that leg down. Don't just let it drop down to the ground. Bicycle crunch next. Here it is, three, two, and one. Oh yes, two ab exercises left. And remember, that last one is the challenge, but going into bicycle crunch in three, two, and one. Now we've got the obliques coming in everything. Oh. Now, if you need to be back on your forearms, just doing those knees, you can do that. If not, get that twist in with the upper body as well. So many variations you can take. The fact that you're here, the fact that you showed up, that is what counts. Almost there. So remember, plank hold for one minute in three, two, and one. Let's switch it over, plank. Plank, you have the option to do on your knees. You can do it up on your hands or on your forearms, but we're just gonna hold it, that isometric plank hold. Here we go, hold it. This is where mind over matter is going to come into play. Bring that belly button in towards your spine. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the legs, drive those heels to the wall behind you. Keep that pressure in the mat with your forearms or your hands. Shoulders, elbows in line. Come on, keep it strong. We're 20 seconds out. You got it, I know you got it. This is such an awesome challenge right now. We are finishing strong. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. You did it. I challenged you something big today and you did not back down. I am so proud of you. You are the bomb. It should feel so good to have decided to press play because not, we don't wake up every day like, this is the day I'm gonna have the, we don't always wanna press play, <laughs> but you did it and I'm so glad you made it to this point. If you would like one extra five minute challenge, if you have not heard yet, I have an abs finisher. This would be the icing on the cake. So if you wanna get that extra five minutes because you are seriously on a roll today, grab that and I will see you over there. I love ya.